We're into 2016 coverage now, and Republican frontrunner Donald Trump has uncharacteristically given in to pressure, it seems. Today, after a meeting with the chairman of the Republican National Committee, Trump signed a pledge to back whoever wins the Republican nomination, something that until now he had refused to do. In early August, Donald Trump won few friends on the debate stage when he alone refused to pledge support for whomever becomes the Republican nominee, while also dangling the threat of a third-party run. But on Thursday in New York, a reversal and a bit of a rewrite of an American promise. So I will be totally pledging my allegiance to the Republican Party and the conservative principles for which it stands. Campaigning in Manchester with a business tour at Dine, fellow candidate Lindsey Graham called Trump's move good for the party, but continued his attack on the Republican frontrunner. Yeah, I want a serious debate. Mr. Trump, in my view, is not qualified to be commander-in-chief. Don't take one novice like Barack Obama and replace it with another. Earlier in the day, Jeb Bush didn't say whether Trump's pledge was good for the party or not, but told the crowd that Trump's overall message is a bad one. Donald Trump's view is that the end is near. His pessimistic view is, let's close the borders, let's create tariffs, let's do this, let's do that, all based on negativity. By removing the specter of a third party run, though, Trump eliminates the threat of splitting the Republican vote and essentially handing the White House to the Democratic nominee. As the businessman now appears satisfied, that he'll get equal footing within the GOP. I don't have to be treated any differently than anybody else. I just wanted fairness from the Republican Party. All right, and while Trump's pledge may bridge a gap within the Republican Party, that apparently doesn't translate to a softening of the rhetoric within the field. He continued to accuse Jeb Bush of being low energy and waved off Lindsey Graham's campaign as insignificant.